Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So this is just going to be a 10 sales in 10 minutes update. So without further ado, we shall get straight on with this. So as you can see here, we've got this builder bear, uh, sort of just a, a, a brown plush toy. Nothing special, this one, just obviously quite a standard one as you can see. It's not a special edition or any anything like that as far as I'm aware. Um, and you can see there, it's just a builder, po builder bear workshop one. Um, so yeah, a lot of people say to pick up the special editions, which is brilliant. They do go for good money. But also, you, can, you know, if you pick these up for a pound or two, I actually paid a pound for this one at the car boot ages and ages ago. Um, but if you pick these up for a pound or two, even though some of these... Uh, slightly less sort of uh, sought after ones can still go for sort of some uh, some half decent money at least or, or just a little bit of money um you know sort of that bread and butter money at least so yeah um i got 995 plus postage on this one so it's a nice little sale and from a pound investment i'm more than happy with that so yeah, that's that one. Next, we've got uh, these vintage, uh, vintage vineyard pair of porcelain figures by Leonardo. So I'm guessing this was like a Leonardo collection. Um, £17.63 plus postage. I actually bought these as kind of a last resort purchase at a car boot a while ago. Um, it wasn't really going that well for me, this car boot. Um, I'd actually gone to two car boots on this particular day and both of them weren't very good. Um, I think it was kind of in winter, so we were like indoor car boots, so... They can be kind of hit or miss anyway, um, but it just wasn't going particularly well for me. So I paid £2 each for these figures, uh, so £4 for a pair there. Um, and, you know, I got £17.63 plus post, so there's still profit in there, there's still some good money. But at the same time, they did take a while to go. And as I say, it prob I probably would have been best putting that money into something else. Um, because, yeah, it was kind of like a last resort purchase, really. But still, I'm glad they've gone now. And obviously, I have got some money out of them. So, can't complain too much on those. Um, I did reduce them down from, I think, probably had them up at like 19.99 originally. So, yeah, that's those there. Uh, next, we've got this vintage black. I'll just put a, uh, another photo on here. Uh, this one's probably better. So, vintage black uh, metal empty Windsor and Newton paint box. So, this is literally just a, an empty metal paint box. You can see it's empty in here. Um, and, yeah, it's by this uh, Windsor and Newton Limited, uh, London, England. It looks like it could be, like, a fairly professional maker. So, I'm guessing uh, someone who's maybe into painting or something has bought this and they can use this as their paint box um I don't, I don't know why it's more valuable or whatever i'm just guessing because it's you know it does look like quite a, a sought after name matt so i don't know maybe it's that but yeah 19.99 for an empty paint box that is really cool I, I, I was amazed that that was actually worth that amount of money i actually got this off a job lot my granddad um basically brought around a load of stuff that he had sourced from like a house clearance or something, I don't know. Um, but he had uh, basically bought this stuff for me and then said, is there anything you want out of it? And then you can just pay me some money for the bits you want. So I don't even know how much this cost me, probably only like a quid or two, not a lot um, in the job lot. So yeah, uh, Windsor and Newton Limited there, a 19.99 plus posted. So I was more than happy with that one there. Next, we've got something uh, that's probably a little bit familiar, which is this Builder Bear uh, Classic Grey Bunny. Uh, I got this from the charity shop for two quid uh, not long ago. Um, I actually did a haul video. You will have probably seen it in the haul video if you've been watching the hauls. Um, so yeah, two uh, two pound into nine ninety five plus postage. I did mention in the haul video. I'll probably stick it on it about that, and hopefully it should go fairly quickly. And it, it did. It probably only took about a week and a half, two weeks to go. So I was more than happy with that. Um, from as I say, ten pound plus per, uh, from two pound uh, ten pound plus postage there from two quid was pretty good. So. Yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this uh, vintage framed cat, and this should actually say painting here, but I put painted. I have a feeling, I'm not 100% sure, maybe I'm wrong on this. I don't know, I can't remember actually, because it was a while ago now, it was almost a month ago, I suppose now, but I think this might have been in my 100 listings, and if it was in my 100 listings, that would probably explain why I put painted and not painting, because... On some of those listings, I was going a little bit fast, so I'm sure there's like little grammatical errors and stuff in them, um, or at least maybe a couple of them. I'm bound to do that, especially because I was listing so early as well. I started listing about 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, so that's meant to say painting. And I wish I had also put oil in there as well, oil painting instead of just painting. Um, but yeah, so this was entitled Tabby by Ch Charles Van der Eyschen. Um Yeah, it is an oil painting. It's pretty nice. Uh, didn't 
didn't really know what to price this at, so I just went quite high, or what I felt was quite high. Um, it went within a, maybe a week or two, so I think I kind of got the price right. Maybe I could have pushed it up a little bit more, um, but I was more than happy with that because it actually owes me like less than two quid in an auction job lot so you know i'm more than happy with that profit margin on that one uh, obviously plus my postage there for hermes um so yeah it's in this quite nice frame as well quite a nice wooden frame um which is pretty cool so yeah that's that one there next we've got this vintage copy board game something else you will have um seen recently from one of the car boot halls one maybe not that recently anymore but maybe about a month ago um but yeah, so this is the Vintage Copy Board Game 1964. This is like the original version. I think we did do an updated version as well, which is basically just like a reissue of the game. I don't know when that was dated, or I think it was late 70s or something but don't quote me on that um but yeah this is spears games 22.99 plus postage the box did have a bit of a whip so i was sure to mention that um but yeah still got some good money despite the box having that pretty bad whip there as you saw a second ago there so yeah um it was pretty pretty happy with that 22.99 plus postage from a two pound investment i don't know whether i said how much it cost me then but yeah two pound into 22.99 plus post pretty happy with that one next this vintage epns uh, Blackpool Championship Dog Show. Uh, this is like a 1950s like souvenir cup. Um, 12.99 plus my postage on that one. Well, it just came in one of the silver plate job lots or maybe a brass job lot, something like that. Um, and yeah, probably doesn't owe me hardly anything. Literally like less than a quid. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. And I have actually got another one of these, so I need to like basically put that other one on. I think it has a diff slightly different writing on it, but it is the Dog Show from Blackpool in. I don't know whether it was 1951 or not though um but it, you know i think it's just a slight little variant on the engraving um but yeah i need to actually put that one on as well so yeah 12.99 plus posted so hopefully i'll have another one of them that'll go for like similar money so that's cool um next i've got this was like an fba return amazon fba return um 19.99 free post there as you can see went pretty quickly i was pretty happy with that i actually paid i think three pound 49 or three pound 99 it worked out at in a job lot of books i paid a lot like i got a lot of books and i paid like that sort of money for all of them um you know when i broke it down into an individual cost so yeah pretty happy with that you know three or four quid into 20 quid there um it was a shame that it didn't sell up at fba but i had had it up there for quite a while probably six months to a year, something like that, and I thought, you know what, I'll get some stuff sent back, I'm getting some stuff sent back anyway, so I'll get this sent back, and, we and we'll see what happens with that one, um, but yeah, 19.99 on that one, so I was pretty happy with that there, um, next we've got this vintage Dodo design, uh, you will have seen this in a recent haul video as well, this was from my, one of my most recent auction hauls, um, so yeah, 9.95 plus postage, that's exactly what I said I would get on the haul video as well, um, and it took maybe... I don't know, three weeks to sell, two or three weeks to... Yeah, I think three weeks to sell, because I think this was in the 100 items, actually. So, yeah, this would have been about three weeks to sell. Um, so, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, 9.95 plus postage. Again, this just cost me, like, hardly anything in one of the auction job lots. Literally one or two pounds something like that and i'm probably shooting high at what it cost me at two pound to be honest um but yeah 9.95 plus postage there so pretty happy with that one this is a vintage uh dodo designed uh dodo designs tin does it actually say that where do oh there it is uh, you can see there, Dodo Designs made in England. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then finally, we've got this vintage copper uh, cooking hat pan with black uh, with a black handle. I think, to be honest, I could have got a bit more for this, but I I think I've had this for quite a while. And it was when I um, was kind of not necessarily just getting into antiques or anything. I think I'd been in uh, been doing the auctions for a little bit, but I still wasn't as clued up on maybe keywords I can put in the titles and things like this. You can see here, it's not really a very rich um, title for keywords or anything like that. So I think I could have got a fair bit more for this, actually. I think like 20 quid plus postage, maybe even slightly more than that. Um, but because obviously at the time I didn't put the keywords in properly, it's hung around for quite a while and I've only I've, I've priced it lower than I would these days anyway at 13.49 plus my postage. So this is why it's kind of always important. And it's something that I don't do often enough is going through your listings and looking at things and 
maybe, you know, reevaluating titles and prices and stuff, um, you know, because some things you might have put on six months or a year ago, and you might have thought, well, actually, I, I would have listed that in a different way these days, I would have, I would have updated the price, or I would have updated the title in this way, um, if I was listing it today, so it's always nice to, to go back and go through your inventory and do that, now, the reason I don't do that that often is because I have, like, I think 1,200 items or something now, and it's just, it's so hard to do that, like, it's re it's really hard to, um, you know, to actually uh, go back for all those items, updating everything, and making things, uh, sure things are all square, like, if I actually did that for pretty much all my items, it would take a matter of days, you know, it would be, it would be days, so, it's kind of one of those things, you know, you have to, when you get to that point, or when you've even got more items on than me, like, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever, you have to really start to be, um, you know, you have to really start to have your finger on the pulse when you're listing the item, and make sure that you're getting all your keywords in there, you're getting the price that you want, um, because if you don't do that at the time, and you've got thousands of items, you might not ever go back through your items and check or, or, or update those items, and then they'll just sit there for ages and ages and ages, so, yeah, it's definitely worth trying to go through your listings uh, more, for, personally for me, I, I need to do it more often than I do, or at least in, in more uh, detail than I do, um, but certainly that is that is something to, um, you know, highlight there, that it is a good thing to do that, um, because, you know, things like this slip through the net and you think to yourself, oh, you know, I would have priced that higher, or I would have done something differently with that listing, so... Yeah, anyway, I will leave it there, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or queries, please do drop them down below. If you if you did like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up down below. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do consider doing so. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.